Hello and welcome to this video tour of the Atlassian Confluence documentation. So what is this all about? Well, it's a video that takes you through some features of our online documentation, but it's also an experiment with Mozilla's new Popcorn Maker and a chance for you to play with Popcorn Maker too. The idea is that you watch this video and then make your own version of it and add annotations and comments. Popcorn Maker calls that remixing. Then you can share the link to your remix by adding a comment on my blog post. So let's start with the tour. First of all, how do you find the documentation in the first place? Let's assume you go to Google and you type in Confluence documentation and you choose the link to the Confluence documentation homepage. Good, that seems fairly simple. The documentation has a number of audiences. There is the user's guide, which is for people who want to add content to the wiki, who want to learn how to add pages and comments. There's the administrator's guide, that is for people who want to administer and manage a Confluence site. There's also the installation and upgrade guide and there are release notes which show you the latest features in the latest versions of Confluence. There's also a page on getting help and support and another page on contributing to the Confluence documentation because the documentation is after all on a wiki and so there's a community side to it as well. Also, at the top of every page, you'll notice that there's a block telling you which version of the product this documentation applies to. As technical writers know, we often have to provide different versions of the documentation for people who are using different versions of the product. And at the left here, people can choose the documentation for other versions of Confluence. So here we are on the Confluence documentation. How do you find a particular page that you're looking for? There's a handy search box at top right. Let's assume you want to find something to do with Twitter on the Confluence documentation. You type your search term into the search box and then you can choose one of the pages that Confluence offers you. In this particular instance, it's a page called Tips via Twitter. I talked about the community aspect. You can scroll down to the bottom of any page on the wiki and add a comment. Tap in the write a comment box and say what you want to say. You'll notice that at the moment I'm not logged in, so it's telling me that any changes I make will be marked as anonymous. Let's fix that. I'm going to cancel this comment. And instead, I'm going to sign in. Now, if you don't yet have a user ID, you can choose sign up and supply a bit of information and get a user ID. Once you have your user ID, sign in. And from this point onwards, Confluence will know who you are. It will assign, uh, associate your username with an avatar and people will get to know you and what you have to say. Something really interesting about these, this site is that we've applied some CSS to hide some aspects of the page. If I hover over here, for example, you'll see that the byline of the page becomes more obvious. However, if I hover in this area of the wiki, you'll see that a whole bunch of tools suddenly appear. Because I'm logged in and because I have permission to update the pages, I can even edit and save pages. If you sign up as a contributor to our wiki, you will have those options too. Something even more exciting is that we're thinking of using CSS to change the look and feel of our documentation even more. What I'm going to do is show you our Bitbucket documentation, which is on the same wiki, but is using a different set of CSS. As you can see, it looks very, very different to the Confluence documentation. It has a nice big friendly font, uh, cleaner look and feel, and the hidden bits are at the very top of the page. If I go back to the Confluence guide, you can see it is using a more standard form of the wiki. So that's pretty exciting. What do you think of all of this? I'd love to know. What you can do is to remix this video on Popcorn Maker 
and add comments on the video and share the link via my blog post. This is actually a really interesting way for people to give feedback on our documentation. You can say what you like about the documentation, what could be improved, and yeah, give that feedback by, you guessed it, remixing the video on Popcorn Maker. Thanks and bye.